guys and welcome back to another monthly reset my February reset video I'm very excited about this one I feel like there's a lot happening that we need to like budget for and I don't know I'm just feeling good like January was a good month we did definitely overspend in a lot of areas but overall like in terms of goals and reaching my monthly goals I feel like I did a really good job I implemented some really good healthy habits and I don't know I'm just like feeling very pumped like I'm feeling in a good place which is always nice especially going into a new year so kind of just want to get on top of my finances and just set some good financial goals going into February um but yeah I'm feeling good I hope you guys are too I hope you guys all had a good month yeah you guys know the drill I'm gonna skip the long intro if you're new to my channel welcome if you're not welcome back um my name is Ella I'm 25 I live in Adelaide South Australia I do a lot of weekly vlogs lifestyle content as well as some money and budgeting related videos so if you guys are into that definitely consider subscribing and grab your coffee or beverage of choice i've got a big ass coffee today she's large she's in charge it's also got a headwig on it like is this not the coolest mug you've ever seen if you're a harry potter fan very cool i don't know where it's from it was a gift actually a gift from my mum to nick it's not even my mug <laughs> but this is the perks of being engaged and about to be married what's his is mine anyway let's get into it Here were my monthly goals for January. For my social media goals, I wanted to upload twice a week on YouTube. Didn't quite do that. Um, yeah, I think I missed an upload this past week, so I can't take that off. That's a no. I did post once a week on Instagram, though. I have made an Instagram reel. I just haven't posted it. I'm posting it at the end of this month. I did reply to all of my emails. I had a lot of unread emails after Christmas and New Year's. We did hit 36,750 subscribers. We actually surpassed that by a lot, which is super exciting. And we also surpassed my follower goal on Instagram. Um, I also set up my sinking funds. We didn't save 4,000. We got pretty close, but I didn't quite get there, which is okay. For my personal goals, I wanted to read two books. I actually read four, which is great and I also wanted to read every day which I did do um I oh, I had two half phone free days does that count as one no I'm not gonna say it counts but I did have a couple of days in the month where I took like the morning or the afternoon off of my phone we're building up to a complete phone free day I don't know why I have such an attachment to my phone it's kind of embarrassing I did go for a walk slash the gym every day again this goes back to like my daily habits really trying to implement some healthy daily habits um, I also took my vitamins every day. I did clean up my phone and my laptop. I haven't washed my makeup brushes yet, but I will. So I'm just going to take yes. We still have a couple days of the month left. So that's how we went for January. I feel like overall, like not too bad. So I have gone ahead and filled out my subscriber tracker. I realize this is kind of redundant because like the start is going to be what the end was. But anyway, <laughs> I will. Um, I've got my book tracker. I read four books this month. I've highlighted the ones that are five star reads. There's my thoughts and feelings on those books. I also do have a Goodreads account if you guys are into reading and I also post on my Instagram story whenever I finish a book. Um, and then I have my Instagram tracker as well. And I was about to set my goals for February and I remembered that I have a whole section in my new planner. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out rather than like writing everything in here. I've got my monthly overview so I can fill in any important dates and bills, do my reset checklist. And then here is a space to fill out my monthly goals. Let's talk through my goals for February. I really struggle to say the word February. I don't know why. Feb. February. February. The month of Feb. You guys saw I used my Steph Pace Planner to goal set this month rather than using my 
notebook and like having to individually space things out this does everything for me and it's all of the sections that I already goal set in so this is great and it looks very cute I love it big fan I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I know you guys really want to get into the budget that's what we're all here for I also find sometimes like talking through my goals I love doing it and I love hearing about your goals but it can sometimes get a little bit repetitive like I feel like I'm recycling the same 10 goals every single month I guess that's just what comes with monthly goal setting you're trying to work towards like one big overall goal so you have to have like small little ones that you like repeat I don't know so let's fly through this shall we so starting off with my personal goals I want to read four books this month I read four in January I don't want to say it was like a breeze but it kind of was one of my daily habits that I'm trying to implement in 2022 is reading every single day I've noticed the biggest difference in like my quality of sleep and just my general brain function like I feel alive <laughs> I know with how often I'm reading and the pace that I read at I can definitely read four books so I want to do that this month again I also want to have 75% of our wedding DIYs complete done donezo by the end of this month um yeah <laughs> We're not like, it's not a huge DIY wedding, but there are some things that we are DIYing actually quite a lot now I think about it. There's some things that we can't do until like a couple weeks before the wedding day, like the seating chart and things like that. Just the stuff that I can complete, I would love to get done by the end of this month because I honestly couldn't think of anything worse than like a week before the wedding day, sitting in my living room with my cricket machine, whirring around, like scrambling to get everything done. I just want to enjoy or enjoy as much as I can the lead up to the wedding. So yeah, I would love to have that all done by end of this month. Next goal is to finally, finally settle on our land. This has been such a long time coming. You guys don't even know. This has literally been the longest process of my life. But we are on the home stretch. We are so close to settlement day and I am so excited. Yeah, once we settle on the land, we can start building our first home, which is so exciting. I can't wait to bring you guys along. I've been trying to document it as much as possible, but honestly, I looked back at some of the footage I've got. I lost a really important clip and I don't even wanna talk about it. Honestly, I haven't done the best job. I really wanted to, but it's just been such a long drawn out process that there's like such a gap in between clips. I don't know, I'm sure I'll put it together and it'll be fine, but yeah it's just been a bit of a process so I'm so excited to see the end of it and to just be able to celebrate like I feel like we haven't been able to breathe for the last 120 days um because it's just been kind of up in the air finally on the home stretch so we will be settling this month which is super exciting you guys will see in my monthly budget we're starting to budget for our mortgage crazy times and then my last personal goal is to get my nails done this feels really pathetic going off the back of like buying our land and building our first home and I'm like also want to get my nails done but I do I miss them I've had like a couple couple months break from getting them done and I miss them say goodbye to my little baby hands moving on to my health goals I just want to move my body every single day that's something I really focused on in January again building those daily habits whether it's going for a walk or going to the gym or going for a swim like I really just want to move my body the mental clarity that exercising no matter what form brings I love it. I love it. So yeah, continuing to move my body every day. Also fitness related, I want to go up in weight at the gym. Up my weight. I don't know. I don't know what I was <laughs> I've really been trying to focus on building upper body strength and I've noticed especially in the last couple weeks the dumbbells that I've been using for some of my arm exercises have started to feel a little bit easy. So I want to start pushing myself and go up in weight in terms of like my arm exercises <laughs> and then as always I want to have a phone free day I say this literally every single month I promise there will be one month where I have a phone free day maybe I'll vlog it for you all for my finance goals this month I just want to generally have a low spend month January was not that for me and so I really want to reel it back in reset we have a lot more expenses coming up and with the mortgage and also paying rent and bills and just we have a lot less of a disposable income so I really just want to reel it back in we don't have like a super busy month that I can think of I always say that and then it ends up being like the busiest month of my life but yeah just really be a lot more conscious with my spending kind of going hand in hand I also want to track my expenses daily or like every other day I didn't do that very much in January and you guys will see my budget was just like blown out and then my last finance goal is to save at least 2000 this month we'll have to see if that's achievable I'm not sure I haven't run the numbers but I think we could do that and then for my last goals this category is called social 
I've interpreted it as social media related goals. Now I'm looking at it, I think it might mean like social as in friends. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest, I have about five friends. I love them dearly, but I don't really need to set goals with them. <laughs> anyway, these are my social media goals. Uh, my first one is to hit 37,500 subscribers on YouTube. That would be super cool. We're growing at like 500 per month at the moment, which is super exciting. So I would love to hit that. That would be great. Also would love to hit 6,300 followers on Instagram again. For some reason, Instagram is popping off right now. I always love chatting to you guys and posting on my story and responding to your messages, like my favorite thing ever. Kind of going hand in hand with both those goals. I want to upload a weekly vlog every week. Also upload eight videos a week, a week. <laughs> I want to upload eight videos on YouTube for this month and then also post on Instagram once a week. Those are all my goals for February. I'm excited, I'm pumped. I really need to work on my handwriting. It's actually awful, but Maybe that should be one of my goals. I'm actually gonna write that. My personal goal is to fix my handwriting. Now let's get into the budget side of things. I'll start by reflecting on how we went for January. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Income wise, great month, January. I over budgeted a little bit for my second paycheck, that's fine, but I made up for it with my YouTube earnings. I made more than I expected. And we also sold our old coffee machine on Facebook Marketplace. That was a really great way to make an extra 120 bucks for the month. Now that I've sold one thing on Facebook Marketplace, I'm finding myself like looking around the house being like, what else could I sell? What else can I make money from? Fiance, who wants him? <laughs> In terms of our general savings, like we didn't do too bad. Even though it was a very high spend month, we still managed to save three and a half thousand dollars. So like, I really cannot complain, but I just know that we could have saved more, which is the disheartening thing. I managed to save the full 2000 I wanted to for our emergency fund. So that is now like fully stocked and accounted for, which is great. Um, we didn't quite get there in terms of what I wanted to save for our honeymoon. And I also had a car fund that I added last month but I decided to remove it. It's honestly just not a priority right now. Maybe it should be, maybe I'm manifest. I'm just gonna touch a lot of wood right now. Let's hope we do not need a new car in the next few months. It's definitely our next financial goal, but I've had a bit of time to reflect and I realized there's some other things that we should probably save for first. I'll talk about it um, when I do my February budget, but yeah, that is that. Um, rents, utilities, phone, all of that was normal. Did go over in our subscriptions. I only budgeted for $19 and we spent $33 thanks to Binge. We signed up for the free trial so we could watch Harry Potter and of course we forgot to cancel it. So we've got Binge for another month apparently. Um, we'll definitely be cancelling that next month because although there's some good shows on there but we really do not need any other subscriptions. We just don't really watch enough TV to justify it. Petrol we went way under which is really nice. I didn't spend any money on the Metro card um, and then this is where we get into the red territory. Red, 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 red. It's not pretty. Um, went over on groceries, went over on takeaway. Let me change this so you can see how much we went over by. $39.57. Went over on takeaway. Honestly, we wouldn't have gone over with our takeaway budget, but we had my parents over and we bought them pizza for dinner one night because my dad helped set up some Ikea furniture. So that was kind of our way of like saying thank you. Otherwise we would have been within budget for that. Eating out, we went a little bit over. It is what it is. Coffee. I don't even want to talk about our coffee spending this month. It was out of control. If you watch my what I spend in a week video, which was my last upload, I'll have that link down below in case you guys missed it. Uh, we were buying coffee like almost every single day. Um, spending money, we did go $6.13 over. Um, what did we spend our money on this month? Let's have a look. Amazon, that was a book. Hottest 100, <laughs> Big Rocking Horse. We had a few birthdays. Yeah, we had quite a few birthdays actually. Now I think about it, that's fine. Um, and then we also spent $512.91 on a new office setup for Nick. I talked about this in this week's weekly vlog that'll be up after this, but we went to Ikea and ordered some stuff off Amazon for Nick. Um, and I got a couple other things just so I can make my home office a little bit more comfortable and ergonomic. 
um but basically like with the rise in covid cases and just like the state of the world um nick will be working from home majority of the time for the foreseeable future and so he decided to it finally <laughs> After two years of the pandemic, invest in a proper like home office setup. He's using it right now. He is loving it, thriving, living his best life. So it was a good investment in my eyes, um, but not something that we had really budgeted for. So that's fine. Um, we spent $80 at the gym. We didn't spend any money on Nick's knee this month. We love that. His very expensive knee. <laughs> Um, health insurance, car insurance, home insurance, that was all the same. I've gotten a few questions actually on why our home and car insurance is so cheap. We only rent so we don't have to pay for building insurance which definitely saves a lot on money. So we just have contents cover and the car we have isn't like super expensive, it's kind of old. We just kind of have basic car insurance on it. Uh, and I also work for an insurance company so I do get a very good discount um, which is why it's so cheap. I have had a few messages about that. Also, we live in Adelaide and insurance as a whole is, I would say, a lot less than some other states. So, yes, that was January. Look, not my best month, not my best work, but <laughs> we live and we learn. We do. Okay, enough about January. Let's get into February and resetting our budget for this month. So, as always, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back to zero in terms of our saving um, just so I know what we're working with, we'll leave rent, utilities, phone, subscriptions the same. Um, groceries we'll leave at 440. Takeaway we'll leave at 130. Um, we'll leave that. Coffee, I'm gonna put back up to 150 just to be realistic. Um, I think if we can stick to 150 or 75 each for the month. That would be nice. Spending money, I'm going to put this back down to 500, 5,000. Whoa. <laughs> put that back to 500. We can remove this. Um, Nick's knee, I'm going to put $50 aside for that. Um, he's had his surgery. He might have a physio appointment, something like that. So we'll just put 50 aside for that. And then, yeah, that all looks normal. In terms of our income this month, this one will probably be 800 and we'll do, not that it really matters. Um, my January rollover, let's see. So I have a couple days left of the month. I'm gonna say 400. It might be more, but I'm going to say 400. YouTube this month, I'm going to put that down to 500. And we can remove Facebook Marketplace unless anyone wants a fiance. Five bucks. Take it or leave it. <laughs> okay, so we have $4,920 left to budget. That's after all of our big expenses. I honestly might put petrol back to 200 because we haven't really been getting even close to 250 um, with Nick not playing cricket, he doesn't have to go back and forth like three times a week anymore. So we'll leave it at 200. Um, okay. I think that's, I might even put this at 400 for spending money. I said, I want this to be a low spend month. So I feel like $50 each per week, like that's plenty of money. And I'm also going to go ahead and add books as a category. Cause I've noticed that I'm spending not a lot of money on books, but I want to see like how much I'm actually spending. I'm going to budget, um, let's say $30 for books. I feel like that's plenty. I have a Kindle, my Kindle Oasis. I always get a million and one questions about this. I love it. Do I think it's worth it? I don't know if the Oasis version is like hundred percent necessary. I think it's really great, but I know there's some other cheaper versions. Yeah. I bloody love it. I find myself reading so much more. The books are cheaper. They're more accessible. It's more comfortable to read. There's a lot of perks. There really is. I guess the only downside of a Kindle is that it's not a physical book. Like you don't have it on your bookshelf All the books you've read, like you can't borrow it out to friends. That's the only downside. And like the physical copy of a book, like the smell of a book, that's the only downside, but otherwise love it. Anyway, <laughs> enough about my Kindle. We love my Kindle. I'm going to budget $30 for books and I'm going to bring my spending money down to 400. Uh, which leaves us with $5,040 left to budget. I did actually write a note on my phone because there's some other things that I want to add to our budget. Um, this month, books was one of those. And then I also want to add a sinking fund. 
Um, I'm going to set aside $100 every month for Christmas. That way when Christmas comes around at the end of this year, we just have the money sitting there ready to go because we love our Christmas. Um, that won't cover all of it, but it's definitely a, a good chunk of it. So $100 for Christmas. I, oh, I forgot to add that to my January budget. We also set aside $100 for that. God, am I okay? Cool. Um, the next thing that I need to add is our mortgage. I know, things are getting real, my friends. Our first mortgage repayment should be at the end of this month. So it's something we have to start budgeting for, which why am I excited about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so excited. I'm like mortgage. Let me add something to my budget. Yeah, it's something that we're gonna have to start incorporating into our monthly budget. To be honest, I'm not sure what our plan of attack is at this point, whether or not we're gonna contribute and like pay off more or what our go is. Honestly, I'm just gonna add what the minimum is and then we can always adjust after we've like discussed it and spoken with our broker and like run through everything. So at the moment, I'm just going to put one thousand three hundred and ninety seven dollars that's just on the land yeah it's definitely gonna be an interesting time let's put this right up here because this is a bad boy no no there we'll put it there <laughs> yeah it's definitely gonna be i would say a struggle because we still have over three and a half thousand dollars left to budget like that's money that we can save and know that we can save i guess it's just i don't know scary like paying rent and also paying for a mortgage at the same time it's it's a bit of an adjustment and it definitely will be an adjustment also factoring in like rates council fees all of that um yeah you guys will see over the next few months um as we try and like navigate paying a mortgage whether or not we're going to contribute more I don't really know what our plan is at this point. We're honestly just working towards settlement and then we'll think about it. Our mortgage also isn't going to stay at this amount because um, we still do have the other half of the build. Um, so it's only going to get more expensive, but that's fine. But I definitely wanted to kind of factor it in because I think our first repayment should be this month if all goes well with the settlement. So yes. Oh, crazy. Okay, so that leaves us with $3,543 left to budget. So we are living our best lives. Um, that's definitely a lot more than I anticipated. Emergency fund I have finished saving for. Oh, I also updated my little savings tracker. I added a balance tracker as well. I've mentioned this before, but if you guys are looking for a good budget tracker, I definitely recommend Carter Sullivan's. She has a really good one that I have kind of like copied and tweaked to make my own. And I also added... Uh, <laughs> added i'm so excited i added a balance tracker as well because i thought it'd be kind of fun just to like track how much we have in each accounts every month i know that it will definitely depreciate especially in the next couple months with the house and the wedding and final payments for that like there is just going to be a big decline in our total savings but i just thought it'd be fun to see and kind of track like our progress but yeah i finished saving for our emergency fund which is great um house deposit i can honestly probably delete that i'm gonna leave it for now but that's we've also finished saving for settlement costs also finished saving for wedding fund i mentioned in my last reset video that we finished saving for the wedding <laughs> jokes on us i was looking at my wedding budget and i was like you know what i think to be safe like we should save an extra couple of thousand our original wedding budget was thirty thousand, and i've now put it up to thirty two thousand. so we have got a little bit over budget but it'll be worth it i don't really care our honeymoon savings is looking pretty good and then this is our general account tracker that i will probably have to update at the end of this month but that's what it's looking like right now so i also want to go ahead and add a savings goal for the new house depending on how things go we should be in our new house by the end of this year hopefully um and so i want to set aside some money for that so we can buy like a few new things like maybe a new couch um we also want to get solar panels pretty soon after we move in um that's kind of at the top of our list i'm gonna set aside five thousand i know solar panels are a lot more than five thousand but just as a first step i don't like to like overwhelm myself with like all this money that we want to save um oh 
zero and we'll set our goal amount as 5,000. Cool. I don't know why this isn't, oh, I haven't, I need to update the formula. There we go. I'll do that later. Yeah, that's, I think our next big goal is just setting aside a nice little buffer for when we move in to the new house. So I'm gonna say 5,000 for now and then once we hit it, we can like readjust. So I'm gonna add this to, is that how you spell sinking? Why does that look wrong? Sin King. Why does that not look right? Sinking. Sinking. It just looks like Sin King rather than sinking. You know when you look at a word for too long and you're like, that does not look right. That's me right now. Anyway, um, we're going to add a new house savings goal. Um, so this month I would like to set aside... I guess 1500 and then the rest set aside for the honeymoon $2,043 cool so yeah that is my February budget talk about getting old am I right I feel like such an adult right now like how did I go from spending eight hours a day at school all day every day to suddenly having a mortgage and like about to be a wife like not sure. Anyway, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> so excited to bring you guys along. I literally cannot wait until we make the official announcement. I know you guys are ready too. I feel like I have so much to tell you guys. So definitely stay tuned. Let me know what some of your goals are for this month, what you guys are working towards in terms of your financial goals. I always find that so interesting. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you guys have any other like money or finance related videos that you want to see. I definitely want to do like a savings tips video very soon kind of like a talk through video on how to save money in different areas i think that would be really helpful but if you have any other ideas or suggestions let me know um but yeah i love you guys so much and i will see you very very soon for another video bye guys